Bob Hedgeny with us, Tunkanic Area Softball. Uh, coaches continue winning here. It's not easy going through the league in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Uh, talk a little bit about you know going through the conference, going through the district playoffs, uh, some challenges along the way, but here you are. You're going to make it to the state championship. Yeah, um, we, we bumped up our schedule a little bit this year, and, and our, as always, uh, we, we talk about it all the time amongst ourselves that our district, our conference, is very tough to get through. Um, our whole district, too, has got good competition in it, and... Uh, and it's good to battle teams like Hazleton and Pitts and then Dallas. And then on the other side, we, we get games with Valley View and Mid-Valley. So um, it, it's good competition. It helps us get ready for this time of the year. And you see some teams knocked out along the way thinking, hey, they wanted to get to the state championship. But that's softball. That's baseball. It, it happens. One-run games. Uh, you got to find ways to win them. Yeah, you, you got to find ways to battle through it and grind through it and, and try to make and play uh, mistake-free and, and get some good time and hits and just – Pray for the best and, and just hope you have the kids prepared and, and keep moving forward. These girls have kind of, I don't want to say carried the world on their shoulders, but they were good young and then they've had a kind of, is it a confidence about them? Do you feel like they have any extra pressure? They just go out and play and they're great, great kids. Yeah, they are. They are super kids. I mean, um, they're great kids to be around and I think they just go play. I, I, I don't think they play with a lot of pressure at all. I just, I just think they just, go out and play like a second nature to them and, and they have fun play and they play well together. Let's talk about coaching them up. There's always meetings, there's always extra coaches here. Let's talk a little bit about this group of coaches here at Tunkhannock and, and making sure everybody's focused and has a role here. Yeah, we do. We have a great, uh, a great uh, coaching staff and that's a big part of our success is to have people to help out and, and our hitting coaches, our pitching coaches and, and um, it's nice for us to, to get on them and practice it and work them hard, and then game days come. It's nice to sit back and relax and just watch them, uh, watch them play and do what they do best. Let's talk about the power on this team to be able to put the ball out of the fence. Yeah, <laughs> there is. We have a lot of power on the team, and at any given time, I, I think any one of them can put the ball out of the park. So, I mean, um, Aaron, Aaron's batting in the seventh spot right for us this year. I think she's got three home runs and. Um, Hannah James is in the nine spot, and she's got a couple home runs. So we've got power up and down the lineup with some good speed mixed in. So there's it's quite a bit of power that we can that we can generate from anybody, anybody in the lineup. Pitching and defense always a key in softball. Talk about that component for you this season. That's been one of our strong points this season. Our defense, we, we work hard on it and um, and work on certain situations throughout the day and, uh, and practices and stuff. But our defense, you, you got to win championship with defense. We know this, the parents in the community have been behind this Tunkhannock softball team for years. I talk about the continued support here on the high school season here in 2022. Our, our community is just phenomenal. I mean, they hang stuff in town. They give us welcome home parades. Our, our administration has been just, just phenomenal for us. They've been outstanding. And, and they back us the whole way. They give us support. They, they help us out with what we need for that season. And uh, it's just, it's a good feeling to have that kind of support behind us. Down the road before, let's talk about all the little things. You, know, you got to handle so many things, the busing and eating and, you know, what time we're going to leave. Uh, you feel like, you know, having some of that experience is helpful. Yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, even just playing down at uh, in Allentown at Patriots Park, we've been down there three or four times. So it, it gives us a good idea where we're going. And then down at down at uh, State College, we have an idea of what's going on down there a little bit now, and, and where we can get have our meetings and stuff, and move around and not be in the way. And at certain times, we can get in there and, and be ready to hit and field when it's time to go. Beautiful day to practice. Hopefully, it's a beautiful day to play Friday, Coach. We wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it, John.